very pleasant. And we're underway in Ann Arbor. Broke the plane and it'll come out. So Niall Diggs, the outstanding Ohio State linebacker, goes on defense, and we ask him, what does the D need to establish early against Michigan at Tom Brady? I want to stop the run, basically. I, I really want to stop the run, especially after last year. Um, I have a lot to look forward to from, from last year of, of holding them to four rushing yards. That's something that I don't think a team here has done to Michigan. And Niall Diggs figures to get his shot at stopping that running game early. Anthony Thomas lined up. He'll carry the first carry of the game and a senior his last game in Ann Arbor. Anthony Thomas will have a decision to make as to whether or not he comes back. Shea an outstanding blocking fullback in his final game in Ann Arbor. Thomas again and not much doing on the first two plays of the game as Collins jumped up and stopped him. The Wolverines were not successful moving the ball on the ground. And from the shotgun look, incomplete, it's three and out. Hayden Epstein, the all-around outstanding kicker slash punter for the Wolverines. And Kenyon Rambo, back deep. Fair catch is the signal on the run at the 44-yard line. Wiley is the tailback. Belisari starts the motion man Rambo. Wiley behind the right side, twists in the crease. Hobson brings him down a gain of about four yards. Second down for the Bucks. Donnie Jones is coming on Wiley, and Williams got through too. They overloaded on the right side defensively and ambushed Wiley. Ronald Bellamy checks in as an extra DB for Michigan. Third, passing down, good blocking. Throws Germany, has got it, and Germany for the first down. Kevin Hauser in at tight end for the Bucks. Wiley, after the 14 yard pass, battles for a couple of extra yards, and so far, so far, this a very positive looking drive for the Buckeyes. Green has told us he expected a tougher battle today. Wiley looks for a crease on the left, and Hobson was able to slip through and make the stop. Third down and six. The blitz to Honey Jones, picked up, incomplete. Belisari misses. Stultz to punt, standing at midfield for the Bucks. And it goes out of bounds. Fine punt by Stultz. And the Wolverines backed up, coming out with the A-train. Anthony Thomas buries in pursuit, and Barry brings him down. But Thomas is close to that first down marker around the left side. Brady, late blitz, picked up. Incomplete. Second down and 10. So Tom Brady, his 23rd consecutive start under center. Thomas, the workhorse, carries it 78% of the time in their running plays. Passing down, coming up now for Brady. Buckeyes are coming. Picked up, got one on one, Terrell, and he overthrew him. Battled with Plummer. So another three and out. Epstein under pressure, and Rambo going to let this one roll dead close to midfield. Excellent field position again for the Buckeyes. Wisniewski stems over to the right side of the line, and Rambo comes in motion through the formation. Play fake on the roll, and Belisari nifty on his feet eludes Hall and makes his way for a first down. That's what they should do with an athletic quarterback. Second down and one. First down, Buckeyes. And the Buckeyes with a first down just outside the 35-yard line. Renus with his hands full against the middle of this offensive line this week. Belisari in trouble, Hobson in again, Belisari is away before Dahani Jones makes the stop. Lloyd, Lloyd Carr, Brent, didn't want to hear anything about this Ohio State team quitting, did he? When we were talking to him yesterday, he knew that Michigan would get the best that Ohio State has played all year. 
Second down and seven. Keller and Wiley. Wiley slips through the middle. And a two yard run for tough yardage. Hauser and H back look, and they'll run Wiley behind the power, and they've got the corner. Wiley breaks free, gets past June, and he is down inside the 10 yard line at the six, and the Buckeyes with a first and goal. He is averaging five yards a pop. His problem has not been gaining yards, it has been critical fumbles. First down and goal for the Bucks. Wiley. Stuff Hendricks comes up from his safety spot and takes him down. See, this is the spot of the field now when you have an athletic quarterback. You've got to get him involved in the run game. And let's see if they do that with Belisari right now. Throw, caught, but touchdown, Ohio State on a great second effort by Kevin Hauser, who broke free. Well, this would be a devastating penalty if it's on Ohio State. The only thing I can think of is that they. Oh, they've celebrated oh excessively. Gosh. What a shame. What a pity <laughs> that they like that touchdown. Yeah, that's... That they went ahead of Michigan and Ann Arbor. I think it's a stupid penalty. You got a big underdog comes in, puts a touchdown on. They've been put down all week. They come up with a score. Of course, they're going to be happy. They're in Ann Arbor. They're in the big house. They haven't won here in the 90s. And now Stultz. And it's Moot. Stultz. Cross from the four yard line. Looks for that crease on a cutback. Down at the 27. And the Buckeyes winning the battle of field position take advantage of it to open up a 7 0 lead. Now it's up to Thomas, and he runs into his own blocker that time. Hutchinson collides with Thomas in the backfield. Second down and long for Brady and the Michigan passing attack. Flair, Shea, fullback, run down at the 23 yard line by Cortland Bullard. Brady again in trouble. Sacked for the first time by Niall Diggs. 32 rolls in. Now, an underdog like Ohio State, will they come after Epstein? They get a short field and a penalty flag flies. Rambo picks it off. Goes in reverse. John Cooper's begging for a five yard penalty right here, running into the kicker instead of roughing. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> oh, boy. Tough one. There's that personal foul. There it signal. is. See. A preliminary indication. The kind of mistake that you really can't make in a situation like this. See, this is the difference from winning nine or ten games a year and having a struggling season. That type of long distance, and I, I'm not really quite sure if I think that's roughing. This is what I kind of call running into the kicker. Actually, a Michigan player hit him first. John is telling Rambo, let's not be going in reverse on that punt either, young man. Let's see what Michigan does with its break. Brady on a nice play fake, drops it off to Sean Thompson. And Thompson out of bounds at the 37. Michael Doss, the defender. Second down and one Wolverines. And Thomas is stuffed and continues to battle toward that first down marker. Thomas, middle, and a huge hole opened up. You alluded to the fact of how Anthony Thomas has been the offensive load. You can see that the second leading rusher on this Michigan team is a wideout, David Terrell. Second down, and here he comes again. Thomas cuts it back for first down. Driven out of bounds, and now Thomas is starting to put the A train into a higher gear. Brady, Thomas, and he is stopped by Doss at the 40 yard line, picking up another five yards on first down. So, ever since the penalty, things have changed for the Michigan offense. 
Jump through at the H back spot. Thomas slides through inside the 40 yard line. It'll be third and short. Middle linebacker Jason Ott with the stop for the Buckeyes. Third down and three. Michigan elects to put it up. Dropped, and now it is fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for a field goal. Now be careful now they because they can pooch punt yeah, out of this do. too. On a direct snap to Epstein, they worked on this play. And if the Buckeyes, and they do not have anybody back. No, they're going to play it safe. They're going to stop and keep now, Michigan from taking a first down. Now if he kicks it, Tom Brady is the holder. It would be a 55-yarder. Michigan, a only, Michigan only has down. 10 guys in the field. This is it, the direct snap, the play they worked on. And there's a penalty flag because of it. The ball rolling out of bounds inside the 20-yard line. Ohio State will Illegal decline formation, it, though. Only six on the line of scrimmage offense. The penalty is declined. Here's Michael Wiley. Forced back inside by Hendricks, who bracketed him beautifully that time, and they did not give him the corner as we come to the end of the first quarter. Second down for Ohio State. Bad trouble. Slips a tackle. Now slips another one. And the Magic Man dances free again for the Buckeyes. Steve Bellasari is like a grease pig in the early going. So it is now third down and one. Keller and Wiley. It'll be Wiley hitting the backfield and then stuffed in the early going. It was Josh Williams who penetrated and got him first and blew the play up. He wants to throw it like last week. Hit it. They violated the halo, and that is a penalty. No question that they came in on a 44 yard punt. Percy King in yeah. too close. See, Remember, now, there are two yards in the college game. See, I'd give him 15 on that one. When you get up and celebrate that one, that's the one where the discretion of the of the officials could give him a 15 yard penalty. This isn't a guy just jumping out of the way in the halo. This is a guy that took a shot at a punt returner who's very vulnerable. There is no penalty. Man is pushed into the runner. First down. first down and trailing by seven. Play fake on first down. Throw it outside to Shea. He's run down by Barry. Regular speed on that moment of controversy. You be the referee. Listen. I'm not getting the lifeline. I can see that right Second now. down <laughs> and four. Here's Anthony slashing and again that Buckeye defense which has played excellently so far. Nate Clemens knifing across and they have come to play. It's Michigan Ohio State. The Buckeyes know the stakes. They must win to have a bowl game. Brady Terrell his first reception first down Michigan. First down and ten. Brady wide open is the A train. What a nice story John wearing his dad's number down in Miami 34. Here's number 32 for a first down. Pretty good running back right there and Anthony Thomas. What's your feeling about the A train. How would you evaluate him Gary. You know Brent the more you watch him the more you like what he does the little things he does in the football game. Wolverines down a touchdown but they're on the Buckeye 46 yard line. Here comes Thomas. Diggs hit him first. Almost sounds like a Midwestern. Almost. Brady is back. Going to set the screen beautifully. Oh, what a running room for Thomas. Oh, they're all out in front of him and inside the 15 yard line. Walter Cross now gives him a break after the 32 yard gain on the screen pass. Brady to Thomas. Brady. Terrell, 10 yard line, dances, and then slips at the six yard line. Upset with that slip at the six as he was making another cut. And he now has completed 400 passes here at Michigan. Anthony Thomas back in the game, powers to the three yard line, and Gary Berry with the stop. 
With a first and goal, Brady brings the Wolverines to the line. And Thomas denied the end zone. Play action pass, second down is when you like to do it. Maybe Shea out in the flat. It's Thomas for the end zone. Got it. Touchdown. Michigan's an extra point away now from tying Ohio State in the first half. I think there's really been two plays. The roughing the punter that changed field position in this game and the screen pass. Epstein, outstanding as a kickoff man. High and in the end zone and a knee. No chance for a return, no chance for an injury. Comes out on the 20-yard line. So it's Ohio State and Michigan. Deadlocked at seven. Belisari's touchdown pass to Hauser, who pulled away from a safety. And then in the second quarter, the A-train. They've had some fierce weather in this rivalry through the years. But <laughs> today, very nice, except for the rain that the field took. And obviously, that would be the biggest negative. The fact that we've got some slippery conditions that Jack Aroot and Gary Danielson have told you about. The fullback, Martin, gets a quick handoff and a burst that surprised the Michigan defense. They were looking for the tailback, and instead, Martin's first play of the game, and he bolts on a quick handoff. Tim Salem, the quarterback coach against the wall, taking a lot of heat out in Columbus, but today they got a good game plan going. Now, Belisari on a roll, got an open man, Reggie Germany, and he steps out of bounds short of the first down. A handoff to Wiley, battling toward midfield. Third down and one. Wells is the tailback. Jonathan Wells. The pitch to Wells. Martin's the lead block. He gets Whitley. Wells breaks free. Sideline. He's out of bounds. He is out of bounds. But long after, he picked up a first down. Wells was kind of the super ego of this football team early in the year. Had a great game against the University of Miami, but hurt his ankle and seemed to have changed the team. Wiley getting a big break. Belisari on first down. It's Gets time. Down the sideline. Incomplete. Cato June was the defender. Second down and 10. And Belisari and a keeper all the way. And Michigan certainly not fooled on that play. They had it cut off every which way. And the stop made by Josh Williams. Michael Wiley. And Finesse Provit. On the field, Probert will go off to the left. Wiley, as you know, is also an excellent receiver. This is third down and 13. Belisari. Wiley, though, blocks. High. Probert's got it. First down, Buckeyes. Just short of the 25 yard line. Now, Jamar Martin in a hole to the 10. And the bruising fullback with his second powerful run. 245 pound sophomore from Canton, Ohio. Belisari rolls high, incomplete. If he'd have brought it down, Matt Keller would have had a reception. Gold was the defender working in that area. I think, I think it was James Hall from the 56 to cause that ball to go high. Straight ahead. High and over through. Rambo and a penalty flag comes flying. Somewhat surprising to me. I certainly didn't think the ball was catchable. I thought it was too high, but let's get this sorted out. Whitley is the defensive back. So we'll see if it's sorted out. If it was uncatchable, you kick a field goal. If not, you get a chance to put the ball close to the goal line. There's the call. Here's Belisari. Sneaking straight ahead. Now they winding up with a first and goal, decided to put Belisari right behind the middle of that offensive line. This is the 12th play in the drive. They've also got the big horse, Martin. He's going to throw. Got it. Touchdown. Martin slips out of the backfield. There he is, right there. And man, line of scrimmage. You can see he had the fullback coming out. Didn't do his assignment. Touchdown. Stoltz to give the Buckeyes their second seven point lead of this game. And this a very impressive drive. This was not a short field. Both teams playing well. I think Ohio State has shocked Michigan with their ability to run the ball inside. The penalty against Ohio State. Stoltz kicks it out of bounds, so there's a mistake on the kickoff. Brady. 
Go. Fires Terrell incomplete. But you know Tom Brady didn't take over as the quarterback here until the Indiana game and and he has handled the situation the competition so well remember he was the starter a year ago and, and we complimented Tom on, on what he did. Here's what he told us. Well, you know, I think everyone involved in the situation, you know, deserves a lot of credit because I think, like you said, everyone handled it well, and it makes it easy for me um, to know that there's a lot of people supporting me, including Coach Carr and, and even, you know, my competition. So, um, you know, it's it's been a good situation for everyone. This competition, Drew Henson will take over next year, right now. Anthony Thomas for five yards. But when you let's think for a moment about what Carr did. And let's think back to last year about what John Cooper didn't do. And this is not a big second guess yeah, of John. But if he had it to do all over again, wouldn't he have given Steve Belisari a little more practice time at quarterback? Now think about Michigan for Lloyd Carr. Drew Henson's ready, folks. He'll, he'll step in and be the starter next year. And the year after that, he's already had game experience. And right now, Brady will finish it up. Belisari threw five passes last year. Third down. Shea the fullback and Brady straight back digs coming and got him. Oh what an effort that was. Although Kirtland Bullet did a nice job of taking away that play. Brady wanted to go to the flat to Shea and it was Bullard who forced Brady to take the ball down and got the sack. Ohio State not satisfied with a seven point lead. They've got 246. That's the time that was put back on the clock. They have two timeouts. Epstein back to punt. Remember, Rambo had a huge turnover late in the first half last week. Epstein hangs a beauty. Rambo from the 20. Beats the first man. And out of bounds at the 23-yard line. And here comes Keller. So the fullback is making the difference for the Buckeyes. There's a first down run. Toss Wiley behind Keller. Hendricks and a penalty flag. I think got a face mask on that, don't we? Oh, we got to hold it. Buckeyes want to be careful here yeah. right now. Michigan with all three timeouts. Just over two minutes left here in the first half. And yep. a nope. first and 22. Remember, a holding penalty is marked off for the spot of the foul. So, thus, it is 22 yards to go. Ohio State doesn't have to snap it. There's still 12 seconds left on the clock. Belisari hands Wiley, bolts to the 29 yard line, but they're five, still Wiley. about five yards shy of the original line of scrimmage. Instead, it'll be Wiley, whole left side, and here comes Michael. But he still is short of the first down, reaches the 39-yard line with James Whitley making the stop defensively. This a big-time play. Third down and six for the Bucks. Fullback. They block gold, but he fights off the block, and he helps out Todd Howard, the corner. So it was Gold and Howard who forced the punt here at the 130 mark. See how Michigan elects to play this one defensively. Stultz is back. Eight on the line. And Diallo Johnson signals fair catch and it goes out of bounds. A beautiful punt inside the 25 yard line, but the clock stops right now with 51 seconds to go on the 41 yard punt. Now is the time you love having a fifth year senior quarterback who's done so well in these type of drives. You get him in there and you say, Tom, I'm going to trust you. Don't make any dangerous throws, but get us in the field goal position. And he's hit eight of his last 10 after missing on his first three. Thrown for 72 yards. And of course, you would have thought David Terrell would be the big play wide receiver, but he's off the field. Diallo Johnson and Marquise Walker are now there. A first down stops the clock, 51 seconds. Michigan with a timeout to go. And the A train Whoa. to the 28, and the crowd not happy. Whoa. Never mind all those good things I said about strategy. Never mind. 
You eat it first. Ron brought it in. You test it for <laughs> Second down. Anthony Thomas, middle clock stops. Oh, and man. Anthony's still coming to the 47 yard line. See, now three seconds to go. Oh, that, that's. I don't know. I don't quite get it. Michigan will take a timeout and throw a big Ben. Brady. Slides and down as the half comes to an end. So the half comes to an end, and for the Ohio State Buckeyes, it was a very positive first half. Epstein, an outstanding kick man. Rambo's coming out from three yards in. Steps just past the 20 yard line with a seven point lead. Rolls hard to the left. Fires open receiver. Got it. Oh, man, what a catch. Great grab by Rambo for 16 yards. Murphy leads the offensive line up. He's been doing a good job on the nose man, Renus, here so far. Now Belisari rolls right and he's in trouble. This time he will not get away as Whitley cleans up and that's the first sack of the game for the Michigan defense. Now Michigan's D can tee it up. Second down and 16. Bucks need a big one. They'll go back to the fullback and Michigan says that worked in the first half but not now on the fullback draw to Honey Jones and Josh Williams. Third down. Belisari. Middle too high intercepted Patman at the 45 crosses midfield daylight on the bad throw the high throw by Steve Belisari Belisari just as the ball is let's go oh, maybe not that ball was 10 yards overthrown the receiver not a chance for Reggie German Plummer plays bump and run on Terrell he's done an outstanding job and Thomas just short of the 20 yard line picks up a couple of yards second down Wolverines Anthony Thomas no help deep down here they show blitz end zone battle knocked away by Clements beautifully in the end zone now it's third down and seven three wide outs Plummer has Terrell and he's playing soft on the right side so they come back to screen Thomas it was called this would be a 42 yard field goal attempt by Hayden Epstein oh snuck it in slipped it through for three Tracks it down on the run, picks it back up before he stepped out of bounds, I believe. Now he cuts free. Delay jumps over Epstein. One man to beat. It's Patman. Cuts away, and he is caught from behind oh as Patman slows him down. One of those delayed reactions. He was the last one to touch it, goes out of bounds, and comes back in. I don't know if that's legal or not, but he sure ran nice with it. No, I think he can come back in. That's a 52 yard return. I think that maybe this is different than the NFL. That rule right. is not the same in professional football. First down and 10. Belisari barks back to Wiley. And Walter moves in the meantime. Ohio State has trailed in every football game this year. Ball start. Offense. Five yards. Still first down. So far in this game, they've led all the way. Play fake Belisari comes deep again. Reggie Germany breaks free from Howard, but it's incomplete. Second down and 15. Wiley, big hole, battles. Tough yards to the 36 and Tommy Hendricks. The fullback. And off the 23, Matt Keller. Donnie Jones makes the play. Here's your fourth down. Toss Wiley. The halfback pass. Throws it. Rambo's got it. First down. Michael Wiley, as you said, 
You trust him. He's a senior. He's thrown the ball well. What a gamble call for Ohio State. Wiley comes left. Hobson holding on brings him down a gain of a yard. Michael Wiley has come to play here in yeah. his final Michigan Ohio State game. Remember our storyline. The Buckeyes must win to qualify for any bowl. And now Belisari rolls left fires in zone diving interception and dropped it and he dropped yep. it. Yep. Nice play. Field judge was right there on the play. Eric Brackens wrapped it up but it was down and the field judge jumped right to the spot. Third down. Wiley hole nothing there Hendricks but it was the defensive line. So Cooper elects to do just that. The kick is good. Penalized on the kickoff That's 15 yards. Huge 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 and the lead is back to seven. Cross up to the 20 yard line right now, and the Wolverines are trailing by only seven points here. So they're going to wind up, you would think, with much better field position. That guy's got to stop scoring. You get too many penalties when they score. And that's the truth. <laughs> well, here comes Cross now. He feels the ball at the 24 yard line. And he bolts. <laughs> Here's Brady now on first down. Flashes over. And Thomas runs to daylight. Out of bounds at the 40 yard line, 15 yards on that play, and it was a first down beauty. Thomas wrestled to the ground. Playing him a little soft, and they put another corner on the slot man. They don't let Knight run free. Brady looks in that direction. Now he comes underneath the Marquise Walker, and that's defended by another corner, Clements. Ohio State's defense has been outstanding on third downs. Brady runs out of way, looks into the middle, didn't pick up a man, and runs for the first down. What a great play by Tom Brady. To the 22 yard line, a run of 16 yards for a quarterback who certainly is not known for his mobility. They've got a first down at the 24 yard line. Play fake. Brady rolls, looks down the middle, picked off, under through, but there is a penalty flag. Berry picks it off for the Buckeyes, runs free to the right. Thomas is blocked by Clemens, and now Berry is across midfield, but hold everything. There's a penalty flag back at the 24 yard line against the Buckeyes. First down. Ball is at the 13 yard line. So it'll be Thomas, big hole left side, closed fast. Niall Diggs has been very quiet in this football game. Second down. Brady, ball bobbled. Buckeyes recover. Michael Doss took it right out of Brady's hands. Clinton Wayne with the big recovery. Now Belisari and the Buckeye offense. The Honey Jones trying to come. Jonathan Wells, the running back. Wells gets past Whitley to the corner. Bust past the safety. Couldn't get him out of bounds. Blocked by Martin. Jonathan Wells down the sideline to the five yard line. Todd Howard saves a touchdown. A 76 yard run for Wells and Cato June has to be shaking his head in disbelief. On a first down, Belisari and the Bucks throw it <laughs> to the 50th row. I mean, when Belisari decides to throw one to the peanut vendors, he lets it go. All right, here's the toss down to Wiley. Keller's out in front. Hobson stretches it out and then gets help. Great play by number six that time, who stretched that play out defensively and never let Wiley get turned upfield. Now you wonder, can Belisari work a quarterback draw for Cooper? Michigan, will they be ready for something like that? Will Belisari roll right? Will he throw it? He has two tight ends. Remember, Hauser scored one. Saunders is in. Play fake, and he's hit! Hendricks on a safety blitz forces the ball loose. Hama Hendricks rips into Belisari. 
Want to play quarterback? It's the play tight end. action pass. Tommy Hendricks. Hendricks jars it loose. Now this is Hauser, Gary. Yep, who Hauser gets it. Baseball with your young son over <laughs> in Ohio, who makes a huge recovery here as Hendricks just comes absolutely free. Hauser gets it almost absolutely. lands right in his lap, but it forces Ohio State to attempt a field goal. This a 30-yarder for Stoltz. Buckeyes lead at seven. Oh, mistyped. And it's off to the left. Missed it. So Tom Brady and Michigan get a chance coming out from their own 20-yard line. On first down, fires Terrell. Penalty flag flying. Ahmed Plummer all over Terrell. Brady incomplete. Here comes Brady on a draw with Anthony Thomas left side. Tackled at the 40 yard line. He blew past Diggs that time on that play. Four wide receivers on first down. Shotgun Michigan to put it up right away. Marquise Walker, not a well thrown ball. Second and 10. Now the seniors on this defense for Ohio State have to buckle it up and say let's just keep playing hard let's focus on our assignments not let let's not let this thing get away because we lose confidence they are giving up only 3.4 yards of play defensively the Buckeyes are here today second down and 10 Wolverines will try not in motion and come back to the right side with a run Buckeyes left a hole and the A train exploded to the 49 yard line. Shea is offset to the right behind the tight end. They'll run Thomas over there and he stuffed on hit him first. And then the middle of that Buckeye defense led by Mike Collins puts him away and it was a terrific defensive effort by Ott that time. You're right. Jammed up the middle and forced a fourth down. Epstein back to punt. Rambo standing at the 10 yard line. Signals a fair catch at the 12 yard line. Everyone here knows what it's all about. And they feel this season and a chance to go to the Fiesta or Orange with Ohio State standing in the way. Keller was confused. He passes it on back to Wiley. Wiley carries on the play. Jumps. The first defender but goes no further. And the 11 yard line tackle made by Rob Renus. They come out now with a second down and 11. Will Belisari put it up? Yes he will. we got the middle. Got his man picked off. Ian Gold jumps back. Picks it off again. He had his tight end wide open on the play. And now Gold a former high school running back battles his way back to the eight yard line. Can this Buckeye defense hold again? It was another horrendous pass by Belisari. Yep. Gold's even facing the wrong way at that time, but he waits, he waits, he waits. Gold turns around and gets the interception. Michigan with another big break on the interception by Gold. Tremendous effort by Ian Gold. Now Brady and the Wolverines will attempt to cash in. Play fake, first down, roll, here's Shea, reaches touchdown. Michigan scores, it was Thompson coming out. Sean Thompson, the tight end. Epstein for the tie. Got it. Wiley from the goal line. Leave out of bounds. Keller and Wiley are behind Belisari. Wisniewski stems to the left. Rambo through the formation. Fullback is Keller into the middle. So Tom Brady finds a way. Three times they upset him. 
And Ohio State returned the favor. Here's Michael Wiley slipping at the 30 yard line. And uh, Jack Arood is uh, down below with somebody who almost became a Wolverine, huh, Jack? Well, actually, Brenny did take some courses here. Derek Jeter, do you consider yourself still a Wolverine? Oh, yeah, you're a Wolverine for life. All right, who's going to win it today? Oh, Missy. We're going to score a lot this game. There you go, Brent. Take it to the bank from the Yankee King. All right, Jack, thank you very much. That was third down and four and an incomplete pass. Oh. Not a good one. Ohio State needs a bounce and they get it. With the ball, Anthony Thomas, who's been the workhorse, carries behind a pulling guard, Hutchinson tackled by Ott. One of the pressure contests of the season. In the round, play fake. Brady stands tall. Gonna go down the middle. Once Knight overthrows everybody because the secondary was not fooled by the play fake this time. Here comes Brady. Forced out. On the move. Cotton's got him at the 25 yard line. Clements, Plummer are doing a good enough job that if you're Freddie Puckett, you say, I'll blitz. They can't beat my guys. Now it's Epstein versus Rambo. Kenyon Rambo deep for Ohio State. From the 38, penalty flags come flying. Pushing in the back. And instead of having the ball on the 42 yard line, they're going to mark off from the spot of the foul back. Brent, here's where Steve has thrown the balls from. Two interceptions inside the pocket right there. Jonathan Wells, who had a big run earlier in this half, stumbles coming up to the line of scrimmage. Ohio State has run the ball for over 200 yards against Michigan. I never thought they could do that. That's kept them in the game. Eric Wilson shaken up. Has to come off the field. Oh, the whistle blew to start the clock. And Tyson Walter thought it was the end of the play. There it is. Absolutely. Right, snap. Ball start. Offense, five yards. Down remains second. Happens on every first down play. Start the clock with a whistle. Germany Rambo, and now Belisario rolls hard left. Looks for somebody. Keeps it. That's a and good play. battles his way to the 34-yard line to Honey Jones. Wiley slots. Belisari is going to run for it. Can he get the first? Yes. On his second effort, as he breaks another tackle, he makes it to the 45 yard line. Here's Wiley, middle, Hendricks. Yes. But almost 10 yards on that play. Keller gets the first down for the Bucks as he crosses the Michigan 45 yard line. Wiley, nothing doing. So the big, costly mistakes by the Buckeyes. The two picks, the missed field goal, and six penalties this half for 55 yards. Yeah, you're right. Ohio State came into this game last in the Big Ten in turnover margin. First half, no turnovers, leave the field with the lead. Second half, caught up with them. Cuts right to the 31 yard line. And Murphy, the center, going one on one, and Wiley forced back into the inside. Hall was there along with his friends. That's a good talk. Formation. End around. Here comes Rambo. Rambo looking for daylight gets forced back inside and there is your penalty flag legal formation Reggie Germany was not up on the line of scrimmage on a trick play on balance play number 80 Rambo's going to go in motion but when you go on balance look at he's off the line of scrimmage he needs to be up on the line too many backs in the backfield that's an illegal formation and they'll measure it off against the Bucks. Wiley and Keller in the backfield. Belisari fires complete to Probit. Fumble! Michigan got it, I believe. 
I think Cato June may have pounced back in after it bounced away from Hobson. Let's let him sort it out. That was Cato June who came in at the end as you watch this. Great hit here by Whitley. Yep. Ball free. Now it's first down. And Brady shows shotgun. Fires hard to the side and complete to Johnson. Defended by Clements on that far side. They pick up four to five yards on that first down pass. Tom Brady is 13 of 22, 94 yards, one touchdown, and no picks. Remember, one very costly interception was called back because of a holding call on the defense. Anthony Thomas. A workhorse. Diggs does a nice job on that play. Got to be a passing situation here for Michigan. Got it. First down at midfield, and he went back to Sean Thompson, wow, who wow, caught wow. the touchdown pass for 20 yards. Shotgun look on first down. Michigan at midfield. Staying in the air. Johnson. Gets about eight yards, almost nine on a first down pass. Second down. Brady gets help from Hutchinson. Comes deep. Knight incomplete. Ahmed Plummer again closing in on the wide receiver. And it is third down. 16 of 20 coming into this game with comebacks against the Irish, Indiana. And Penn State. Now he faces a third and one with the ball at the 41 yard line. Thomas, Thomas, there's 100. There's a first down. There's 30. Duke Ellington would be very proud of this A train. Now Puggage's defense needs another big play. Barry on the blitz. Thomas runs away from it but gains no more than about a yard if he got that. 6.24 now, left in regulation on Rivalry Saturday. Brady gets great protection from the offensive line. He can make a sandwich. Comes back to the near side and open is Marquise Walker. Reaches to the 11-yard line. 17 yards. First down at the Buckeye 11-yard line. Thomas. To the 10. Shotgun. Walker again. Clements. Got it. Michigan leads it. On the 10 yard pass. From the comeback kid. to the 20 yard line. First down and 10 now. Belisari tries to mount something here. High and incomplete. Now Belisari, Hall closing in. Ball on the ground, Michigan goes for it. Picked up by the Bucks. it's Wiley. Wiley breaks free of gold. Out to the 25 yard line. Here's your third down and five. In trouble again. Going to try to run for it. Oh, no. Hit. Won't get it. Cato June. Looks like a goal line defense. Here it comes. Yeah, he came across the line. He made it. First down and 10 now. And here comes Belisari up firing. Going to come down to Reggie Germany in a duel with Howard. Germany almost had it. Late. Went up with Howard and had a crack at that pass. Second down and 10. Belisari is going to slip it into Wiley's hands. There's a block on Hall. And Wiley makes the most of it for seven and almost eight yards on that play. Third down and two. And the Bucks are going to try to run Belisari. Not a good idea. Jones won't let him free this time. Down at the 30-yard line. Belisari fires. Germany diving incomplete. Michigan takes over on downs at the 32-yard line. 
Hutch pulls. Thomas. They try to get it away from him. It's going to be a face mask. So here's first down. No, you did. And here's Anthony Thomas. The other thing about a great back in a situation like this, he doesn't fumble. Second down. Here's the hand to Thomas. And there's another penalty flag. Ohio State was offside again. A frustrated team losing their focus in the second half. Second down now. Thomas pounds Anthony the clock Thomas down carry. a few more seconds as he goes straight ahead. Third down and one. Final 53 ticks of the clock. Straight ahead. Tom Brady kept the ball. So the Michigan first down. The Buckeyes out of timeouts. They can't stop the clock. So Brady up to the line of scrimmage. And the final seconds tick away. For 34 seniors. The final time that they will suit up for a Michigan Ohio State game. And the Wolverines advance to either the Orange or the Fiesta Bulls.